The Vanishing Land is a teach-led adventure for years five and six. It develops creative teaching practice for local geography and literacy, and it places the teacher at the centre of the creativity. The project takes place across two weeks in schools, and on day one of the project, the teacher comes in with a strange map come game that they say they found in either a bric-a-brac shop or their grandparents' attic. During golden time, there's a room that we go to play games. Miss Russell thought we should test it out first, so we test it out. But then we kind of accidentally, well, accidentally opened up a whole entire world. The children learn about the lost island of dust and all the animals that lived there. The giant gulls, the miniature wolves and the golden bees. And they were instantly like, let's play it, let's play it. Unbeknownst to them, the game is loaded, so they lose. All they see is a strange message that appears on the scorecard. It said, you lose darkness dark descends. Mm -hmm. There were storms outside, so it was dark outside anyway. It was super windy and one of our windows shut by accident and it was like, it's working perfectly. Day two, the children arrive back at school to play the game again and see if they can do better. We were coming in. Thinking um, that it was going to be fine. Yeah, normal day. However, the map has changed and that is where the adventure begins. There was a bean bag like half over the table. There were chairs that were tipped up, upside down. There was paw prints and um, golden glitter everywhere. Over the next few days, elements of the island begin to manifest around the school. So we checked all the cupboards, and you found a um, like in a cupboard a big nest. We saw footprints go up to the window, and they just stopped at the window. In the library, there was a mess. And there was like an egg. That, like a giant goal we think came out of it so we learned that like all of the animals if you touched it, it would just turn to dust completely. The only way that they can help to save the island once and for all is to play the game again but this time they need to play the game with elements from their world. The island is in danger only they have the power to save it. When I said to them we need to write these stories not one child in my class hesitated. Normally you get, oh, I don't know how to do that, or, oh, I'm stuck, like without even picking up a pencil. Not one child. All of, I literally just gave out pieces of lined paper, and before I turned around, they were all just doing this. Day six, the children return to school to find that their resources have been scattered around the game, and the map has returned to its colour form. They are excited and delighted. They believe that the work that they have done has saved the lost island of dust and returned the animals to where they came from. So the students' response to The Vanishing Land was full of excitement. It was, oh my goodness, what's going on? I think the biggest impact the game has had on the students is creating a sense of like that secrecy between all of them which helps strengthen like their class community. Like when we were playing the game, the kids were at the door going, I'll oh, keep look out. I'll, I'll cover I'll cover the uh, I'll cover the window, make sure no one can come. We had kids sitting there like bouncers, like making sure no one was gonna come in or if there was a knock, they're like, Mr. Oz, oh, there's a knock. Even if they're, you know, bickering from something beforehand, they pull it together to get on task. Um, it's also really promoted like their creativity. They're just so excited about it. So it's really amped up their um, engagement and excitement overall. They were gathering their own ideas, so it's kind of made them more independent. A few of them were just doing two or three stories, and those children that you wouldn't expect it were some of the first to finish. Or, can I can I illustrate it? Or, can I, can I do a drawing? It's like, yeah, go for it. Yeah, in terms of relating the game to the curriculum, we've gotten really lucky. We were studying climate change and geography, living things in science, and within our English, we just finished a persuasive letter to one of the big 12 companies in the UK to, to slow climate change and what they can do. And we're also reading Harry Potter, so the magic element has been within the room. And so it just tied in really nicely. It works to really excite and ignite children's imagination to make them really understand that they hold these possibilities in their imagination and in their learning. It engages parents, it gets them talking about with their children what's happening at school, it goes past the mobile and everybody being interested in what's happening on a screen and actually listening to what's happening. 
and for teachers that real sense of we can really work on something collaboratively and really exciting here um, and just see those, those energy levels rise in the classroom. I think they'll remember it forever, it'll be something that they, they'll always talk about.